Let's delve into the information security controls as defined and outlined by ISO IEC 27001. Okay, so let's first discuss about A5 security policy. So, security policy fundamentally mentions the need of having the information security policy and different controls to be associated with it. The objective of this policy is to provide management direction and support for information security in accordance with business requirements and relevant laws and regulations. You need to have policies not only for creating an information security policy document, but also for reviewing the information security document. An information security policy which is not updated on a time-to-time -time basis gets irrelevant. When you create an information security policy, make sure that the security policy document is to be approved by management and published and communicated to all employees and relevant external parties. Everyone needs to be aware about the proper implementation of the policies. Don't hesitate to take approval from the negative stakeholders as well. Convince the negative stakeholders about the benefits of having an information security policy. Okay, so going by my experience, I hardly see that anyone in the organization would not support to have an information security document. When you are done with the creation of the document, Make sure the information security policy is reviewed at planned intervals or if significant changes occur to ensure its continuing suitability, adequacy and effectiveness. You remember what I said in my last lecture, yeah? The information security policy should be a living document. 